Hey everybody, uh, this is uh, Courtney. I'm here to do a uh, quick overview of my um, ESXi lab. Uh, it's something I've been working on for a, for a little bit, uh, for a while now. I uh, just kind of want to show you guys how I've been doing uh, my different CCIE studies and different technology testing um, as I come across different things. I spent a decent amount of money on this, but not anything too crazy. Uh, we'll just go over a little hardware components just to kind of show you what the physical uh, layout is. So right now I actually have a cluster of three servers. I have two uh, Dell 1950 servers and I have an IBM, uh, what is this thing called? A, I believe it's a tw 3450, uh, IBM 3450. Um, as you can see, my three servers, physical host, actually makes up my ESXi cluster. Um, I have a com aggregated uh, memory of about 156 uh, gigabits of RAM with uh, about 9 terabytes of storage. Uh, that's actually coming from my uh, Synology NAS. I have the D1J, uh, D126 or D216J. Um, NAS uh, system but um, this is pretty much my go-to system I actually have a couple of production things running on here uh, my media server I have Plex running uh, and same thing with my NAS it actually hosts about 190 movies now hoping to grow that collection but kind of going off topic but just kind of going over some of the things that I got running running uh, Overall, I have about, uh, I think it was last counted, I think about 56 uh, VMs. Yeah, 51 VMs that I actually have installed in different setup uh, from separation of uh, usages, usages, usage, uh, excuse me, I gotta keep, kind of keep it down as well. Wife and the son are sleeping, but um. This kind of breaks down some of my uh, machines, uh, my core VMs here. Uh, I got an ACS server running, uh, free NAS that I used for the internal uh, hard drives that are on my um, servers themselves. So I, I turned them pretty much into a uh, an iSCSI share through my free NAS uh, VM. My GNS3 VM, I'll go over the network setup and how that's tied into my physical and my uh, logical lab. Um, you can send my media server, that's where I do most of my downloads and all that stuff, my Plex server. Um, my Ubuntu servers, they're running various servers, uh, services on it. And then my vCenter, which you see here. This is running uh, vSphere 6 or vCenter uh, 6. On this, uh, I'm using the web client on my Mac right now. Um, I have domain controller running DNS, DHCP. A uh, couple of other services, but for the most part, it's just all internally from my lab. Now, I'm running actually my home network uh, for different uh, various reasons. And I have these different folders separating my different appliances. I have a data center lab that I started building out. I have the Nexus 1000, well, Nexus 7000s, uh, so Nexus uh, Titanium, the 7K emulator uh, with a couple hosts that are attached to that with some routers to emulate it data center uh, configuration that I was working on. Um, you got a couple of virtual firewalls, uh, the ASAVs, and I have the Palo Alto. I actually have a ASA uh, 5505 uh, hardware firewall, as well as uh, a 3750 and a 3550 switch um, that is actually connecting my vCenter host together, as well as my, uh, my internal network, like I said. I got full internet access and um, for every virtual machine pretty much in my uh, switch course which is actually trunking everything together pretty much kind of aggregating everything together but um keep moving my network appliances I got the uh, F5 um, the email security appliance and I have the web security appliance and the Uni uh, unified network labs uh, VM that I have built out and these are come of some of my routers that I have, just free routers that I use whenever I need to pull them up. Uh, Junos, the CSR 1000 Vs. I actually initially started out with a 20 uh, CSR 1000 V setup for the uh, CCIE routing and switching, 
but uh, recently I actually changed my um, my track, my CCIE track to the uh, CCIE service provider, in which I am pursuing now. So I'm actually doing some testing and uh, some studying, and so this is kind of a uh, this routers pod one is actually my uh, my lab of my uh, iOS uh, CSR 1000 V's as well as my iOS XR V's that I have running here and then a couple of templates that I have and then my uh, test machines actually this is my PCAP server I turned this into a PCAP server uh, for my lab but um, you guys can see this is a quick overview of the network uh, let me see so I actually have a uh, Windows laptop that I use for my um, main um, management for my internal network my Mac I kind of use for personal uses and then my uh, Windows uh, laptop that's actually sitting in my office I'm actually sitting in my bedroom now because if I go in my office you guys would not be able to hear me because my uh, sounds like my office sounds like there's a bunch of jets running in the uh, in the building I'm pretty sure my wife hates it but uh, you know it's what I have to deal with for now until I uh, start getting a smaller form factor for my servers and not going to happen until prices go down on one of the boards that support 64 gigabits of RAM. So, you know, until then, that's what I got to deal with. Um, so, just kind of want to go over my network setup. So, this is actually a service provider lab that I um, am working on. This is kind of the basis core, base core of it. Um, it's got four CSR uh, uh, iOS XRVs with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, iOS uh, well CSR 1000 Vs, and then I also have where you see the ILU. Um, these are actually GNS3 that I actually have tied into my ESXi lab. So this is my extension for what will emulate my CE routers going into the vCenter. So I actually have GNS3 actually integrated within my uh, lab and it works perfectly fine. Um, so that way I'm able to have a consistent topology as far as, you know, when I'm doing my MPLS stuff and I don't have to keep breaking down and breaking up. And if I want to add new CEs, all I have to do is spin up a new IOU router and stick it on uh, using 802.1Q um, trunking add VLANs to my end host and being able to uh, simulate some pretty cool networking features utilizing the uh, CSR 1000 Vs. Um, and the route that I went this way, so kind of brief history of the uh, images that I, I'm running. Um, the CSR 1000 V is kind of the, it was pretty much the emulation of the ASR 1000s. Um, if you have a network background you might have an idea what that is but it's the Cisco CSR 1000s and then um, the uh, iOS XRVs which are pretty much your service provider backbone routers they're simulating the ASR 9000s and the CRS routers that uh, um, Cisco offers uh, and then I also, like I said, I'm running the IOU, which is kind of your ISR um, 2900, 3900 simulated devices. Um, each of them have their own feature sets. The most robust is probably going to be the iOS XRV. Um, the next in line is going to be the CSR 1000V. Um, those are a little bit resource intensive. So between the CSR 1000V and the uh, GNS3 ILU, they pretty much have some similar functions except for some of the advanced MPLS functions and um, some of the more advanced uh, OSPF v3 and um, a lot of routing protocol ISIS extensions that uh, typically will not be supported on the ILU, the CSR 1000V makes up for it. So pretty well good balance of what my uh, lab capabilities are and so I'm able to do different tests um, I can actually throw an ASA in here and do some ASA testing like I said I have the F5 so I can do some F5 testing um, and pretty much anything that's virtualized I can actually spin it up in this uh, lab here and uh, turn it on and get it working so just a quick overview of my lab if you guys have any questions uh, let me know shoot me an email write a comment be happy to answer uh, if you want any details or any suggestions or tips for hardware purchases or 
anything along those lines, let me know. Um, more than happy to help out. It took me a good maybe four, three or four months to get everything completely built out. Oh, another thing. Uh, just want to bring this out there. So one of the cool things that I'm running, like I said, is my the the full uh, V Center uh, six setup. Each host has ESXi 6.0, and then I'm running uh, V Center 6.0. Uh, VMware actually has a really cool program that you can go to instead of having to deal with the uh, 60 day license trials. For the uh, host in the vCenter, which you probably can't, I don't really think you can download vCenter um, without this product. But um, I ended up getting something called the VMware User Group. It's uh, pretty cool. It's called VMUG for short. But um, you go uh, sign up for it and you pay two hundred dollars. Now two hundred dollars may sound like a lot of money, just for some lab equipment or just for some um, extra information that VMware has to offer for their clients, but one of the cool things about it is that you get a suite of different um, packages with uh, about a year, a year and a few, like a year and a month's long uh, license expiration. So everything is completely licensed. I have full functionality. Um, you can actually see that when I go to my host and configuration and license features. I mean, I'm running a full license, so, you know. This is uh, definitely works. Uh, I mean, I, I got all, all the um, features that I need to use. Uh, one of the key things that I liked about using the, uh, that I, what kind of drove me to that, getting these licenses and not dealing with the, uh, the free version of ESXi is, like I said, one is the vCenter. I'm getting vCenter on, um, being able to utilize things like vMotion or uh, DRS or any of that stuff. And then also, uh, virtual serial ports. It may sound small now, but it's a huge deal. The virtual serial ports, especially when you're doing the uh, virtualization of the uh, iOS images, it gives me the ability to use my router as a log into my router as a virtual console. Um, so it's like having a console cable plugged into the router at all times. So if you end up taking up some IP addresses and you were telling that into it, you won't lock yourself out the router. So it's 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 like using a a um, like I said a, a virtual console cable. So it, it it enables me to do a lot more um, as far as my labs and get a little bit more creative and not have to worry about locking myself out or finding any back doors uh, configuration wise to start um, you know testing or just learning some new features that I probably read up on or seen at work or something like that. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll be. More than happy to answer. All right, later.